Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Sarasota, Florida. Welcome to my Sunday night free stamping class. I'm so excited to be sharing some beautiful ideas with you. I'm going to get my iPad set up here. There we go. Watch for you guys, Kathleen, Nadine, welcome. You guys are the first ones in here to comment. Oh, it just says you're watching. Okay, Jenny's first one. Hi there, Jenny. <laughs> we have Connie Piasecki, welcome. So, we have had a really good week here in Florida. The weather is um, straightening out because it was so cold here, like not cold like Wisconsin, but it was unseasonably cold here. And um, we've had a really beautiful week. Steve and I got to spend a little bit of time by the pool today, so that was nice. And he's been really giving me a hard time because he tans a lot quicker than I do. So he's way darker than me. And he keeps putting his arm up against my arm and going, huh, I should sit next to you more often because I get all the glare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But we've had a really good week. Let's see. Um, our friends Mike and Vicki were here this week and we had a really good time with them. Hi Sarah, I'm so happy to see you and Julie coming in. We had a really good time with Mike and Vicki. We, we went out to eat several times. We went down to Siesta Key and we went to Siesta Beach, which is the best, most beautiful beach in the country. The sand is like baby powder and it doesn't stick to you and I'm not kidding because I am not a lover of sand. I've always felt that beaches should be um, paved or cemented. <laughs> I know, don't hate on me, <laughs> but I really don't like sand. And the sand at Siesta Key is this fine, wonderful white sand that doesn't stick to you. It's so, it feels so good and it never gets hot. So you could walk barefoot in it and not burn your feet. Yay! So I'm kind of changing my tune a little bit on sand, but only if we go to Siesta Key. <laughs> 10 to 15 inches of snow tomorrow, Wendy Sue said. She's in Rhinelander, Wisconsin. I know. I heard you guys are supposed to get um, some really nasty weather, and I'm terribly sorry. And I'm, I feel a little guilty about telling you that it was like, I don't know, 80 here today. It was beautiful. But um, yeah, we've had a good time. So Steve and Mike went golfing a couple times and sometimes they go with some other people that we've met. Every Thursday night in front of our garage, the neighbors bring down their chairs and a couple little like TV trays and we set up a happy hour with snacks. So we've gotten to meet so many people. We, we met... Um, Maureen from upstairs, she's a sweet lady from Minnesota. We met Rose, who's from Staten Island, and oh my goodness, does she have that East Coast accent I just love, she's really funny. Rose told us the other night that her late husband told her, when you're pouring the rum into your cup, you should count to 10, that's how much rum you need in your cup. And she said her lips were a little numb. You don't count to 10 when you're pouring the rum. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. Um, what else? I wanted to give you, oh, the golfing. I have to tell you about the golfing. So Steve and Mike went golfing one time and Mike actually hit his ball and his ball went into a coconut tree and never came out. So <laughs> really major problems, right? <laughs> Um, Randy and Lucy update. So Randy is, um, Randy lives upstairs with Lucy, a beautiful black lab, and we've come to know Lucy. She loves popcorn and she'll catch it when you throw it from happy hour, right? And um, Randy and Lucy, I don't have really any updates for you there. They've had a good week also. Um, I haven't seen Lucy that much. Randy and his wife have been doing all kinds of things this week, so they haven't been around as much as I've seen them in the previous couple weeks. Um, but I do have a John update. Thanks to Kathy Miller. She is one of my team members, and she's my helper. She is my um, keeping everything straight in Menasha, Wisconsin while I'm gone. Bless her heart. 
And um, she was at my house the other night to pick up some things for me. And <laughs> she said, John update. She didn't see John, but he must be really busy because his garbage cans were still out by the curb and it was nighttime. So, <laughs> I know, isn't this big information? <laughs> I giggled when she sent me that message, you know, because it's, you know, it's a John update. It's a John update, right? So yeah, John must be really busy while we're gone. The other thing that I wanted to tell you about, oh my gosh, Fred. So you guys know that Fred is my handyman and he has been remodeling our house over the last, I don't know, year and a half or so because we've neglected our house for a long time and it's time to get things up to date, do a little work on the old girl. Um, our house is 122 years old and um, don't say, oh, it must have lots of character because it doesn't. <laughs> The character was torn out by the previous owners many years ago. So it's just an old house and Fred has been updating. So we have our entire upstairs remodeled except for the hallway and the staircase and the doors. So while we're here in Florida, Fred is at our house finishing our upstairs and putting new doors. So I'll get a new door on my office and my two bedrooms up there. And he's going to redo the hallway. We have flooring for that and the staircase. And it's funny because before I left, Fred came over and said, okay, so what do you want? What do you want me to do here? And I'm like, whatever you think. Can you believe that? I trust him. He's got really good style and good, good taste. He knows what's trendy. Um, Jimmy said she was wondering about John. I know, right? <laughs> So anyways, Fred is doing whatever. I just said, whatever you think. He messaged me the other day. He's like, what do you think about the wall color? Like a lighter gray than what we've used in the other rooms? Whatever you think, I said. <laughs> so then he messages me, I think it was last night. And he said, hey, would you mind if I washed your bedding, your bedspread? Because one of the cats threw up. <laughs> He says he thinks he's freaking them out, and that's why it happened. I'm like, no, cats just do that. And I'm like, yeah, absolutely, you can wash my bedspread. So that was kind of funny. He's so sweet. Anywho, Fred is there, and I'm sure our house is just a disaster right now. But um, hopefully when we get home, it's going to be done, and I will make sure I share the pictures with you. I took some before pictures. I'll take some after pictures, and maybe we can take a little tour. Woo, yeah. Uh, let's see what else is happening. We've been eating really good. Steve um, latched on to some swordfish, not in the ocean, but at the store. And we have this fabulous Amish grocery store within walking distance. We like walk over there when we need something. And so Steve has been buying all of our food there that we're cooking here. And we had the other night we had swordfish and scallops and shrimp. They have um, fresh asparagus and green beans, and he bought a pan of cut up squash. I don't know how I feel about that, but we're gonna try it. I'm not sure if I'm a fan, but it's orange and it does look pretty. Oh, and somebody said my nails look great. Here comes Steve, yay! Hi everybody. Yeah, I told him he could pop in here and say hello. Look, let's yeah, do the arm. Me. Do the arm thing. I told him how you're giving me a hard time because you're well, so, look at how much darker he is than me. You gotta work, you gotta focus on your tan. It's just the way it is. <laughs> I know, but he's been golfing and I've been working. Well, that's okay. True. It's true. So, yeah. But I've been cooking. He's been cooking. Oh, and we have, um, they have aged beef here. Aged beef it is so good. I just ate a steak. We, he made steaks last night. Each um, complex has like their own grill. And so we can go out and grill on it. And um, so Steve made steaks last night, last night, right? Steaks yes, and Steve. mushrooms and onions and asparagus. And potatoes. And potatoes. Delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm getting fat. <laughs> you watch yourself. Okay, I'm going to pass on that one. And <laughs> Kelly is, this is ice water. And she's sending me to bed. She doesn't want me to disturb her show. Yeah, right. <laughs> Have a great one. Good night. <laughs> oh, he was teasing a little bit earlier that I wouldn't take my swimsuit cover up off at the pool today because I'm too fat. <laughs> 
I know. Well, we've been eating really good. Um, anyways, so that was fun. I'm glad you came in here. Hey, uh, did you guys see that I put up a guessing uh, challenge for baby Dawson? For any of you that are new to me, you know I have little Miss Val. She is um, going to be two at the end of April. And she is our youngest grandbaby. And um, Val is expecting a little brother. And her little brother is due March 8th. And so I just put a guessing game on my Facebook page. And um, guess the date, the time, the weight, the length, all the things. And there will be a prize. So Haley is due in like, I don't know, like 20 days or something like that. I know, I'm like, she better not have that baby before we get home. That's all I have to say. <laughs> we are, I know, I'm really sad. Somebody said, how long are you here? We are leaving, not tomorrow, Monday, but the following Monday, the 28th. And it really doesn't seem long enough. I'm starting to feel a little twitchy because it's like, no, I haven't done anything yet. So this week, Steve and I are going to go to the beach because I really did like the beach. It's fun to watch people and... Yeah, I like, I like the beach with the sand at Siesta Key, not any place else in the world. <laughs> so we're going to go to the beach. All right, um, I gave you the John update. I told you about Fred and how funny he is that he's going to wash my bed spread. Isn't that so sweet? I was just like, um, yeah, you can. Uh, don't forget, we are in full-blown celebration. Celebration ends on the 28th when I'm going home. And so don't forget to get your celebration orders in. It's the best time of the year to stock up on your supplies because you get free stuff, right? And let's see, what else was... Oh, join my team! You will never be disappointed. You guys know that during celebration, you get to add two stamp sets any any stamp sets you want if you can buy them you can add them for free so two stamp sets you get to add to your $125 in customizable product of your choice for only $99 and no shipping it's like you get so much when you join my team you can build a business or you can just be a happy discount shopper most of my team members are happy discount shoppers and there is a whole other world available to you as a stamper. Come try it out. Be part of something bigger. It's so much fun. And if it doesn't work out, no big deal. Nobody's going to come get your stuff back from you. You get to keep all that stuff. Um, it's just a win-win. If you have any questions, let me know. Now, the two extra stamp sets only good until the end of the month. So don't wait until February 28th. Sometimes our website gets really bogged down with last minute people trying to order kits. Don't wait. <clears throat> Contact me if you have any questions. You'll find a join link on my blog, www.estampabuff.com. If you need help finding that, just give me a holler. Oh, I see Haley's on here. Yeah, Valerie was five days late and weighed six pounds, two ounces, 19 and three quarters inches long. So that gives you a little bit of information and yeah, I'm not going to say any more. There are some things that we know. Um, Haley's going in for an ultrasound on Tuesday, I believe she said. So we're going to get to see a really nice picture of baby Dawson. I'm so excited. Ah. Um, yeah, we got to see Val. We FaceTimed with Val today. Um, she drew on herself a little bit, so we call that tattoos. She had scribble marks all over the place. I don't know. She's so funny, and she fell asleep with her sunglasses half hanging off and her cute little purse that her other grandma gave her. It was so sweet. Okay, what's coming up this week on, um, oh, if you are a Stamp Happy Academy subscriber, member, if you are a Stamp Happy Live or premium member, I am going to be live tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Central Time for our live class. Um, Dina's also going to be live later this month or this week on the 24th at 3 p.m. Central Time. If you guys have never tried out the Stamp Happy Academy website, it is um, 
$34.95 for the premium membership. You could do a live only membership for $20. You could do the basic membership for $19.95. You get four online classes every month, value $20. That's 80 bucks a month. Plus, if you do the premium membership, you get three live classes. Whoops, let's see if I can do my figures. Three live classes every month, and they are so much fun. I have everything stacked up right over there. I am ready to rock for tomorrow night, which is kind of unheard of to be ready to go before that, that far ahead. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually, you guys know, kind of a last minute person. Um, but I am ready to rock. If you join Stamp Happy Academy, we have an entire year of content on there. Do so you that's a story from last week that you didn't finish. Oh, yeah. Okay, I will. Thanks. I'm glad he didn't come out any further because he's in his underwear. <laughs> Did I ever tell you the story about how he answered the door? One of my customers came to the door to get her order at our house and he answered in his underwear. <laughs> she messaged me and told me about it. <laughs> and she was not disappointed. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, enough. <laughs> we need to get back to... Stamp Happy Academy. Anyways, there's a whole year's worth of content on there. So that is four classes times 12 months. What is that? Math. 30, 4, 40, 48? 48. 48. I think it's 48. Did you see how quick I did that math? 48 classes on there right now that you can have access to. Anyways, what time? I am going to be live tomorrow night, President's Day. February 21st at 6 p.m. Central Time. So um, that's when I'll be live. And it's live via YouTube. There's a YouTube link on the Stamp Happy Academy live tab that you find. And you the schedule is there. And you just put it in your phone or put it on your calendar like you would a doctor or dentist appointment. And, <laughs> and I know he is a hoot, isn't he? And... Um, you just come on to that link at that time and boom, I'm live. Beautiful, I'm so excited about the cards for tomorrow night. They're really fun. Okay, don't forget, give me a thumbs up. Click on that thumbs up, that like button right now, whether you're watching now or later on YouTube, please give me a thumbs up. That helps me out in the analytics. And don't forget to go guess Baby Dawson's weight, date, inches, time, the whole deal. It'll be a lot of fun to see who wins that. Um, let's see, what else do I need to tell you? Share, you can share this video right now. Some place on your screen is a share button. Please click on that share button and um, share my video. You share it right to your own timeline on Facebook. You can also later, if you're watching on YouTube, you can share it on YouTube. If you're watching after the live on Facebook, you can still share my video and I so appreciate it because there are three ways to win fabulous prizes. One of them is to leave a comment. If you're new to me, please just say hello or where you're coming from. Leave at least one comment on here. Share is another way to win a prize. And then if you placed an order with me since my last Facebook live, you go into a drawing for a prize. So I'm gonna get Oh, I know there's a couple little things that I need to tell you. So, um, you guys know that I, I promised to tell you this last time, and I, that's what he was talking about. I didn't finish my story. And before I go there, I want to thank you guys for pushing me out the door last Sunday because I did a live early in the day because of the Super Bowl, and we had to take um, Val and Jared to the airport, and then we had in the afternoon go pick up Mike and Vicki, right? So we had a lot of things going on. I did my Facebook Live in between there, and Steve was ready to leave to go get Mike and Vicky from the airport earlier than I thought he would be. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm not going. And you guys all piped in and said, go, go pick your friends up. Go pick your friends up. It's okay. So I decided to go, and I just want to thank you for that because even though their flight was delayed like an hour, so I wouldn't have had to leave. I could have finished, right? <laughs> like, Burr. Um, anyways, we did have a nice lunch, and I was really glad that I got to go pick them up. So thank you guys for that. You steepers are the nicest people, aren't they? So anyways, I was going to tell you guys this story. So as I'm sitting here at the dining room table in this condo, 
Usually when I'm at home work, I'm upstairs, right? And I'm kind of up, I'm isolated. That's where my stamp studio is. That's where I spend most of my time. Steve is downstairs. He hollers upstairs at me once in a while, or sometimes he'll come up and, you know, whatever. Um, but we really don't see each other that much. And so being here, he's walking through all the time. Right behind me here is the way to go into the master bedroom and the little living room areas down there, kitchens over here. So he's walking in and out, in and out. And as he's doing that, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I can be a talker. <laughs> Shocking, right? So as he's walking back and forth, I'm talking to him. And so I'll say, hey, did you da da da? And oh boy, I just had this, I need to do this, or da blah 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 blah. So at one point, I'm not even kidding, this is what he does. He's walking through and I start talking to him. He like turns around really fast. He stops and he goes, <laughs> he's stabbing himself in the head and twisting it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I laughed so hard. Cross your legs because I almost peed my pants. <laughs> not kidding. I laughed so hard. <laughs> and that was my signal that he doesn't want to be chatty with me. So I quit talking to him as he walks in and out. <laughs> it was so funny. And then the other funny thing that I wanted to share with you is, so I finally got used to the garbage can in the kitchen. Um, it's one of these where you have to push on the push on the edge of it and it opens up, right? So at home, the kids bought us a fancy stainless steel garbage can that is electronic. <laughs> Tears ran down my legs. That's right. And anyway, so when you walk up to our garbage can, you wave your hand like this and it pops open. And so I finally stopped waving my hand over the garbage can here in the kitchen because it won't pop open. And when the kids bought us, oh, hang on, my bracelet's caught on my shirt. When the kids bought us um, that garbage can, it was like for our anniversary or Mother's Day or something. <laughs> Look at I'm stuck. I can't get out. Um, I remember thinking that I just thought it was so dumb. Oh my good lord. Hang on. I gotta take my bracelet off before I rip a hole in my shirt here. Um, I just remember thinking how stupid it was to have a garbage can that, oh my gosh, I'm gonna ruin my shirt. There we go, Woo! That um, had to be electric. Like, how dumb is that? But I love it, and I'm so used to it. <laughs> so anyways, I just thought I'd share that I'm not waving my hand over the garbage can expecting miracles to happen from the non-electronic lid. <laughs> okay, I told you guys celebration ends on the 28th, and I think we have everything down here. Um, I am going to award prizes. What? We have these beautiful polished dots. They're so pretty. I hope you can see them in the picture. And, um, oh my gosh, somebody has a garbage can. You can tell it to open suit us from across the room. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, right? I know. I thought it was the dumbest thing ever, but I really like it. Um, Polish Dots for leaving a comment last week. I have our winner is Nanette McKeel of Vanceboro, North Carolina. I have these on their way to you, Nanette. Thank you very much. And next up, I have an entire pack of Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper. You guys, I can't even tell you how much fun I've had with this. This is free during celebration. And um, for sharing my video last week, this is going out to Nancy Bowles of Mountaintop, Pennsylvania. This is on its way to you. Not tomorrow because it's President's Day, but on Tuesday, I'll get these out in the mail to you. Congratulations, Nancy. Last but not least, the beautiful Calming Camellia stamp set. This is for placing an order in the last week and Nancy Sindelar from Omaha, Nebraska. This is on its way to you. So we had two Nancys, two Nancys and a Nanette and nobody from Florida this time. Remember last time it was like two, three people from Florida? Yeah, it's 
kind of funny, right? Okay, I'm gonna set this so I don't lose it in the piles that are going to happen here shortly. Um, I am going to be sharing with you, hang on, let me move this out of the way. We have a new beautiful Celebrate Today magnetic board kit. Have you guys seen it? I meant to put it on my blog, but I haven't had a chance yet. This is what it looks like. And we are going to open this up together and I'm gonna show you all about it. I think it is the coolest thing ever. And then the next thing I'm going to remind you the all together um, collection of products is available until May 2nd. So I just want to make sure that you guys know that's going on. Now somebody messaged me this week and said they couldn't order the blends. You can order all of these um, flesh tone blends with one order number that's on here. But one of them is back ordered right now. So if you can't get one thing in a whole bundle together, you can't get any of it. But you can order these individual, like you can order this set and this set and this set and this set. Maybe that's the one on back order. I don't know for sure. But you can't order it with the one number, but you can order the combo packs individually. Does that make sense? I think so. So um, all of this stuff is available to order. You just can't order the whole set of blends. And that also means the All Together Collection is $105 to get everything that's gonna come up as not in stock because those blends are missing. So you can get everything except that one set of blends. Don't worry, those blends are going to be in our next annual catalog, the, um, the uh, flesh tones. So there's more coming in. So yeah. Oh my gosh, who just said that? Kieran said she ordered uh, four of the kits for gifts. We're gonna talk about that because they're so, so pretty. Okay. I think that we are ready to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you this kit. I'm also going to show you, I got a card in the mail this week in Florida. Yeah. And I'll show you some of the things that I've made since I've seen you last. So let's do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to turn this around. Oh, hang on. I got to see how come I'm not seeing my messages. There we go on my iPad. We're going to turn this around. If anything happens that I hit a button and we get shut down, just come back onto my page and go like this on your phone or your iPad to refresh the screen and I'll be live again. I promise. We're not going any place tonight. You guys were so sweet. And let me go to the airport last week. I am not leaving you tonight. You're probably going to get sick of me tonight. Okay. Let me make sure this is straight. That looks really good. So here is our Celebrate Today magnetic kit. And I'm gonna just give you the details here first. Um, it It's the first thing on my Stampin' Up! store link. Like in my store, this is gonna pop up first and you just click learn more and you'll find all the things. But each kit has a sentiment sticker sheet in Dutch, English, French, and German, if that's helpful for you. The kit is only $25. Not only does it come with all the bits and pieces to make, but also the magnetic frame. How fun is this? I know we've got glare from lights, and I'm really sorry, but it is what it is, right? So I just wanted to open this up, see what it's all about. I haven't even opened mine yet. Now, as with any of our kits, and we do have a whole bunch of them, we always get an instruction sheet. And there's even a video that Sarah, who is our CEO, um, put together showing how to make all the elements for this kit. Look at this. It is step by step in the instruction sheet. It's even got a ruler on this edge of it if you need to measure anything, which is really cool, right? And there's also a video that Stampin' Up! made for this. So you get double-sided sheets of paper and you get to decide which one you wanna put in the background of your frame. So let's get this out here. 
me get my scissors out. I just think these are so cool. And you know, for my kitty, my kiddos, like my niece and Andy and Molly and the kids that are a little bit older, I think I would give them this kit and let them make it themselves, right? Because they love to do craft projects. Um, this is a great gift for just about anyone. And if you have people who aren't crafty, or if you want one for yourself, you can make these up and give them as gifts or keep it for yourself. So this is a magnetic board and you get to choose which designer paper you want to go in here. You could do the black and white polka dot. You could do the half green, different colors. You could do, bless you. Did you hear Steve sneeze? You could do the pink, bless you. Or you could do this pretty plaid. Okay, so here's all our colors. And I think I like the pink. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm a girl. <laughs> so I like pink. And now I'm just going to take this. And this is kind of heavy, this board is, because it's magnetic. And I can kind of feel that. I am just going to, oops, hang on. Let's get that in there first. Put this in here. Bless you. Sneezing away in there. There we go. And then put this in here. And I've got the cardboard on the other side that's kind of getting in my way. All right, Kelly, I know you can handle a board in a frame, right? I didn't pull my things out far enough. That's what's happening. There we go. Am I missing one here? Yep, this one right here. For Pete's sakes. There we go. <laughs> okay, make sure you pull those little prongs out far enough so you don't fight with it like I did. So here comes my prongs. And you can see that I can do this without tools. So that's cool. And then the only thing you wanna make sure of is that this is the top. So you need to make keep that in mind. The top is up here where it will hang. And then let's see what we got in all these little goodies. Oh, here comes those little clips. We've got all these little clips. So these are cool and these are magnetic. Okay, so they have little magnets on them. They stick right on here and they are pretty secure. Like they're gonna stay there. And then we have some um, tear and tape. So that's cool. It tells you exactly what's in, included in here, I think, someplace. Hang on. Um, kit contents. Doo, doo, doo. It tells you the co coordinating Stampin' Up colors are Basic Black, Blushing Bride, Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mambo, Mint Macron, and Smoky Slate. So that's cool. Okay, let's go back here. The kit includes the magnet board, a sticker sheet, double-sided cards, double-sided paper to decorate with, um, six magnetic clips, and two pocket envelopes to attach things to your board. Finished board sizes 12 by 12. Okay, so we got all the deets there. Let me get this out of the way. Here comes our little envelopes. And I did watch this video, so I would kind of know what was going on here, which is kind of handy, right? Oh my gosh, look at all this. Oh, you get all these fun little notes. Look how fun these are. That you can write on and put on your board. And they're double-sided. This is cool. So like if you have a list, one, two, three, four, five, my to-do list for this week, do fun little things like that. Here are the um, sticker sheets. So, and again, these come in English, uh, English, French, German, and Dutch. So of course I would only use the English ones, but here's our little envelopes. So I was watching you get to determine they're double-sided. So what side do I want out? I think I want this floral side with my pink background. So I'm going to keep that one. And I'm gonna burnish that edge good. And then you fold this in. 
And it's all scored for you, like super simple, simple, right? Just like that, you do this. So anybody could put this together, like anybody. You could even um, send the link to the video to your gift recipient, okay? And then we're gonna take the little bit of tear and tape Oh yeah, somebody just said, Linda Burns said you can put the other designer series paper, the green sheet in here too, under the pink sheet, and then you'll always have it there if you wanna change the color. That's a great idea. You guys are always thinking, right? Okay, so we're gonna just take, hang on, I gotta get rid of that first little part right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of tear and tape, and we're gonna put it right on this little tab, just like that. And then another one, just like this. And then I like to use my take your pick tool to pick off that backing. Just works really good. Oh, I went and got my nails done this week too. Um, yesterday, as a matter of fact, and I was pleasantly surprised Usually it takes like an hour to get my nails done. You guys know that I hate getting my nails done because it's like, ugh, poke my eyes out, boring. But this lady had me in and out of there in 32 minutes. I couldn't believe it. And she did a really nice job. So I was pretty impressed. And I walked there because it's over by the Amish grocery store. <gasps> Look at how cute that little pocket is. Isn't that sweet? So then let's take a look-see here. We can decorate it with all kinds of different little elements here. So let's see what we got. Um, that is not English. Here's English. So I think I'm going to do a celebrate today. And then I can put this in here. I'm gonna grab my little um, clip, and then look at this. Isn't that sweet? Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so fun. I know my niece and Molly and Andy, I think I'll get it for everybody because they're gonna love it. So all these stickers, all these cards, these are really sweet. You have something for everything. The and adults will love this, teenagers will love this, um, older people are gonna love this because it's quick and easy. They just put it all together. It's a fun little project to do. I just, I love this, I think it's fantastic. I'm so excited, I need to get. Now, the other thing I wanna tell you is our kits tend to sell out pretty darn fast, right? So don't delay. You need to make sure that you um, get this ordered as soon as possible before we run out. 159335 Celebrate Today Magnetic Board. Oh my gosh, super duper cute. I'll have all this information on my blog. You can also just go to my online store and type in magnet and this will pop up. You just need a keyword, magnet will work. So everything, you have everything here to make the cutest little kit. I love it. Okay, you guys. Who who's ready to do some stamping? Hang on, I'm having a little hot flash now. Not even any reason. Aw, oh, thank you guys so much. It is really cute, right? I agree. So what are you guys drinking tonight? You know, I've got my regular little strawberry lemonade. As usual, I may be eating a lot, but I'm still only drinking that. <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to share with you guys some of the, um, these are the cards that I was gonna make for you when I left for the airport last week. So super cute with the cactus cuties. I did use these in a blog hop last Monday. So you'll find a video, all the dimensions and even free downloadable project sheets. What does that mean? That means you click on it and it opens up on your device. You can save it to your device and it's a whole 
um, instruction sheet with pictures, dimensions, and a link to the video. It's also got a complete product list. What color ink did I use? What color is this paper? What was that embossing folder called? All the details. So free downloadable project sheet with this project. Here's the inside. I use that fun stripes embossing folder. This is what I was gonna make last Sunday and then I thought, well, I'll just use it for the blog hop. And then this is an easel card with the cactus cuties. Look how fun that is, right? And this was sent to me and designed by one of my newest team members, Priscilla Setuan. I hope I'm saying your name right, Priscilla. But I just knew I had to share that with you. So this is also has a project sheet, um, a free download, and all the dimensions and everything is right here on my blog. Now, let me tell you about my host code. If you're gonna place an order with me, I always appreciate your orders. That's what keeps these free videos coming. Um, this is my current host code. You're gonna find that on my blog at the bottom of every blog post or over in the right-hand column. And if your order is gonna be under $150, please use this code. If your order is over $150, don't use the code. You're gonna get rewards from Stampin' Up! I definitely want you to have them. And um, so this is my current host code. And that changes not just monthly, sometimes more than monthly, but it's always on my blog. Okay. Next up, you guys remember this from last week, right? This is our sliding latch card that we made with the fun just driving by. Free stamp set with celebration, free designer paper. Look at how fun that is, right? And this is a sliding latch card. It just slides right in there, okay? So here was one that I made. Here's the other one with the same designer paper, same stamp set. I just changed the pattern a little bit. Isn't that fun? Ha! Ah. All the directions for this, again, are on my blog from last week's Facebook Live. So you can go there and watch a video and get all the dimensions. And I have a free download available. So you can download it. Save it to your computer or print it out or do whatever you would like. So I have to show you this. Linda Gilbert sent this to me here in Florida. She asked for my Florida address and I'm like, absolutely. We got this in the mail and I showed it to Steve and he's like, wow, I really like that. Those colors are cool. So this is another sliding latch card. Isn't this cool? Little gas can in there. Linda, you did an amazing job. Oh, and look at, Look at the dye that she used. She used the little, um, I think this is from the Tasteful Label dies. It's like a little banner dye, and that worked out just perfect. When I did mine, I used the rectangle dies. So you just need something that's fairly thin, right? A fairly thin, like narrow, I guess is a better way to say, type of a dye. But she used that little banner, which worked perfect, right? So Linda, thank you so much. This was just the coolest. I loved your card and I just so appreciate that I got some mail here in Florida because I'm kind of having withdrawals. <laughs> There'll be mail when I get home, I'm sure. Okay, let me set this aside and I'll put Linda's note back in here. Okay, who's ready? Who's ready for our next project? I think what we're gonna make next is Let's get this out. I've got several projects for you tonight, depending on how much time we have, you guys, is how many I'll make. But then I'll have some for next week too, because, oh, hang on, I'm having a little hot flash. Woo. Um, <laughs> well, anybody else having a hot flash? <laughs> um, we're gonna be using the Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper. So this is just a fabulous six by six pack of paper. It is free with your $50, so for every $50, you can choose this as your free item before the end of the month. So February 28th is the last day to be able to order this. Then I'm going to be bringing in the Kite Delight stamp set. This is a fun little photopolymer stamp set. Absolutely love this. It is gonna be perfect for spring, and I know that it's really freezing cold where you are, and I'm sorry. 
But where I'm at, I feel like I'm in full spring mode. So I'm going to have a real shock when I go home. You know what I mean? <laughs> My body's going to go like, whoa, what just happened? All right, we're going to be using Stazon Ink, Versamark Ink, Magenta Madness Ink, our basics embossing powders. I love that you get black, clear, and white in one pack. I think this is a fabulous idea for Stampin' Up! to bundle these together. <clears throat> we also have metallics, which is gold, silver, and copper, I think. So yeah, all three in a pack. The Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels. This is my all-time favorite new embellishment, not gonna lie. Diane says hot flash. Is Steve walking around in his underpants, underwear? I don't know. No, he's not. <laughs> we sent him to bed. Okay. Um, let's get our card stock out here. I got my dimensions that I'll put right over here. This is just the cutest little card. I'm so excited to share it with you. Now, got several cards sitting in envelopes like this waiting for me to do videos or share them with you on Facebook Live that I did swaps with. And this is one of the swap cards that I made. So first of all, we're going to take our envelope and we're going to decorate it with the Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper because you guys know that I love a matching envelope. And it seems so quiet here. I wish sometimes... Not sometimes, most of the time. I wish that you guys could talk to me because it's really, sometimes, it's really quiet. Hi, Deborah Gray. I just saw your name pop in. Okay, two and a half by six. This has a definite pattern to it, so make sure you don't put it on upside down, but I love to decorate my envelope flaps to match my cards. I think I saw Debbie on here too tonight. Debbie, the card that I was gonna send you, I can't find, but I am going to get one in the mail this week. So I just wanted to let you know that. Okay. Oh, Lori, I'm sorry that I keep freezing up. I am actually doing fine here in Sarasota, so I'm thinking it's your internet that is having some issues tonight, and that's a bummer. Isn't that cute? Just so cute. Okay, the rest of our pieces, bits and pieces here. We've got a crumb cake card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And like I said um, earlier, you can find all of these dimensions on my blog right here. So you'll find all the dimensions, you'll find a complete ingredient list and hopefully a free download. So just know that I have been doing that lately and I'm gonna try to continue to do it. I don't know if I want my, I'm gonna put my, um, this is a basic white layer. This is four by five and a quarter. And then I've got just this little half inch strip of the designer paper from the card pack, the um, Sunshine and Rainbows. And I'm just gonna add this to the edge because why wouldn't you, <laughs> right? It's just so stinking cute. So I don't know if I want to put it in the card. Oh, um, Barbara, hang on just a second, Barbara. I'll answer your question. I think I'll put it in here just like this. Usually I put it like this, but I saw a card recently that was part of our team swap. We swap, like if you join my team, whether you're a discount shopper or a business builder, you can swap with us. We have a team swap every month and um, get some fabulous, fabulous ideas from that. And um, one of the cards had the little strip over here and I just thought, well, that's a neat idea. I always put it over here, but I liked that as well. So there we go with that. Then we are going to take a layer of magenta madness. This is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then I cut a piece of the designer paper that is three by three. We're just gonna glue these two together. This is a fairly simple little card, but because of the designer paper and the colors, I just think it's, 
makes it very special. Okay, so this is gonna go on our front like that. Then, um, you asked about this little needle. So this is an upholstery pin. And you can get these at, you know, your Joanne Fabrics or wherever, any place that has upholstery pins. But our glue bottles have a um, plastic film on them and I just stick it right in that. Whoops, hang on, let me get it back in there. Oh no, it's gonna be all stupid on me. There we go. I just stick it right down in there so I always have it on the side of my glue bottle. Yay, right? These are the kind of tips that are priceless, aren't they? It's like, oh, why didn't I think of that? Okay, so we're gonna bring in, this is our piercing, this is a piercing mat. I wrap it with um, printer weight paper, tape it on here, and this is what I use to stamp on. I'm gonna take that magenta ink, and I'm gonna stamp this cute little kite. And I'm just gonna stamp that on magenta cardstock. Isn't that pretty? And close that up. I'm just gonna fussy cut this. This is pretty simple to cut out, right? It's just some straight lines. Kites are easy. So this reminded me when we were at um, the beach a couple weeks ago, there was a guy there and he had a kite and it must have had a tail on it like a mile long that was really fancy and he used two strings to fly it and he was doing all kinds of air acrobatics with it and it was so cool so I'm like oh that reminds me of this stamp set and again this is called Kite Delight there's 11 different stamps in here this is a perfect set to um used for even party invitations besides happy birthday and all that good stuff but lots of lots of cool 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 images in here the tails are really fun okay so here comes our little kite i'm going to add some dimensionals to the back i'm just gonna put one right here and one right here okay we're gonna set that aside now this is the front of my card, and I broke my golden rule. I should not have glued this in here until I got my stamping done. I tell you guys that all the time. Don't put anything together until you get your stamping done, because what if I mess this up? Then I've already wasted that piece inside, right? Okay, so I'm gonna stamp the sentiment that says, your friendship is so uplifting. And I'm using Stazon ink because we're stamping on crumb cake cardstock. It's a little more porous than basic white or very vanilla. So I like to use stays on ink. All right, now we're gonna take this little tail and we're gonna grab our Versamark ink because here's where our embossing is gonna come in. So hang tight, I gotta find all my little pieces here. Versamark ink. And again, where did our, here's our square. We need this just for a dry fit. I'm not gluing anything together yet, but I just want this for a dry fit. And I'm going to bring that right down in here. Okay. Close up your ink. Get out your embossing powder. And I've got just a piece of typing or printer weight paper here, folded in half. This is what I use to dump my powder back in the jar. Get that closed up before you have any accidents. You know what, I see that I don't, hang on, I'm gonna do this again. I missed a little bit on this tail right there. There we go. Okay, that looks much better. Make sure you get the embossing powder all over it this back. Let me get this out of here. Okay. Then we are going to heat set this. I brought my old, old heat tool with me. So it's going to get a little loud right now. I didn't do this ahead of time. So just hang on. 
There we go. This poor thing has been beat up and broken and it's still going. You can see the magic happen. You just want to heat this until it's no longer powdery looking. And don't overheat it because you'll actually burn the embossing powder right off if you overheat it. Okay, here we go. I've got another card using a different pattern of this beautiful paper. Now make sure this is actually got a definite pattern. Don't put it on there upside down. You want your rainbows to be going the right way. Who's done that? Hello. Yeah. Oh, and I had a little piece of, oh, here's my little piece of ribbon. All right, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right about here. There's our little kite. And then I'm going to take some of this gingham. And of course, you could use any ribbon that you want, but who doesn't love the black and white gingham that you can color it any color you want with your Stampin' Blend markers? Yeah. I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it really short and this is going to be one of the little tail things. Oops, hang on, I got to cut it a little bit shorter. There we go. Mini glue dot. I hear it. it sounds like somebody's moving furniture and upstairs. I don't know what's happening up there. There's a little mini glue dot, and we're gonna put that right here on the end. Let's get all our garbage off the card. Right here on the end of our kite. Look at how cute that is, oh my gosh. Here we go. Your friendship is so uplifting, and this is just the perfect card to give to anybody, right? Now, we have one more thing to do. I almost forgot. Don't forget my favorite embellishments. Let's pull these out. And we are going to add a little dot of these beautiful embellishments to the center of each one of our little tail bows. What do you guys think? Isn't that cute? I love it. Okay, hang on. Here is a different pattern. Same exact card. I just use a different designer series paper with a different envelope flap. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Who isn't going to want to get these in their mail, right? Cool. These are very fun. Yes, Lois says now she needs to order this. I know, and you're welcome. <laughs> okay, let me move these out of the way. All of this stuff has to go back into my Stamp Happy Academy bucket. That's been kind of challenging. I told you guys that I've been compromising a lot with stuff because, you know, I could only bring so much stuff with me. And uh, I don't have all of my bins, so I've got a box lid here, which is where I'm kind of holding all my stuff in so that I am not such a big mess. Hang on, I got like a cramp in my finger or something. That's weird. Okay, so Kite Delight, Sunshine and Rainbows, free with a $50 order. This is a fantastic little stamp set. And of course this paper just makes me happy all over the place. And who's ready for another project? Such happy paper, Beth. Exactly. It is so happy. Marilyn says she didn't even see this stamp set. I know. You know, I run into that too. It happens to me in the catalog where I'm like, wait, where did that come from? Like I see somebody use it. And I'm like, where? Cheryl says it's on page 31. Super, super fun. Okay. Next up, let me move these out of the way. I'll bring these back in when we're all finished so you can see everything at the end. 
Let's see, where did that other card go? I know I've got, hang on. Oh, it's under the, under the chair. That went under the chair. Here we go. Simply Marvelous Designer Series Paper. This is, again, another celebration item. Free with every $50. So when your order hits $50, you can choose this out of our celebration brochure. And we have a ton of things in here. We are going to be using the Island Vibe stamp set free with a $50 order. So there's lots and lots of goodies in here. Lots of fun stuff. Um, we're going to be using the Afternoon or Daffodil Afternoon DSP on the next cards. Not this one, but the next one. I'm using this for my Stamp Happy Live um, class tomorrow night. I'm using the Rainbow Paper. I'm using the Marvelous Paper. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm using the Friendly Hello stamp set. I'm not, yeah, the paper's in there too. Yep. Just so many pretty things. This is free with $100 order. Special moments. 21 different sentiments. Just all kinds of good stuff in here. Here's that Calming Camellia stamp set that I just gave away as a door prize. Um, and this is free if your order, it's free if your order hits $300. So this is like if you have a party, you know, your order hits $300 pretty easily. But if you just put in a big order all by yourself, you can hit $300 and get that too, if you would like. And then of course, join, 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 join. Okay, let's get back here. Island Vibes. I think that this is a really cool set and I think it is really um, glossed over in the celebration catalog. It is free with your $50 order. Super, super pretty cards can be made with this little stamp set. So let me show you. We are going to be using, here's that die that Linda used on that, that car. Where did that go? Hang on. Let me grab it. Here's the die that she used on her sliding latch car. Oh, well, this isn't it, but it's pretty close. So this is in the Tasteful Labels dies. This one would work just fine. So just so you know, Tasteful Label dies has 10 different dies in here. We are going to be using this particular one. And... This gingham embossing folder. This is one of our new embossing folders in the spring mini catalog. Love it. And then I got that special moments free with a hundred dollar order. Here is the stamp set. We're gonna be using a sentiment out of there. I oh maybe that's for my stamp happy. We'll see. That might be for my stamp happy class. But let's get our cardstock layers out. Oh, hang on, I gotta. I gotta keep my dimensions. <laughs> so when I go to type up my blog post, I'll know what's going on. So this was actually another swap card that I made and needed to share with you. Here we go, here we go. Here comes all our bits and pieces. That's an extra, that's an extra. And this is in here, okay. So, we are using the Marvelous Designer Series paper and the Island Vibes. And what we're gonna do here, I've already die cut the white tasteful label that I told you I was gonna use, this one. I've got a piece of gray granite. This is three quarters by two and five eighths. I've got two pieces of basic white. These are both four by five and a quarter. I have a three and three quarters by five of the designer series paper, and I have already run it through the gingham embossing folder, and look at that fun pattern on this marbly paper. So one side looks like water, purple water, but water or paint spilled, and one side looks like marble. And then I've got a half inch strip that was just left over, our gray granite card base, that's five and a half by eight and a half. 
and a two and a half by six inch piece for our envelope flap. So let's get that done first. Here we go. Steve is going golfing tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is every morning I go for a walk around the complex twice. It's 1.2 miles. It's, you know, it's not that big of a deal, but it's more exercise than I'd be getting in Menasha, Wisconsin this time of year, <laughs> right? And it's probably saving me from getting a lot fatter if I wasn't doing it because I'm eating a lot, right? I hope Deb, or I hope um, Bev's not watching. She's my Optavia coach. She'd be like, Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Look at how pretty that is, right? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to take this and layer it on here. And I wanna use the marbly side for the front of my card. Make sure that I'm doing this right before I go too much further. Oops, this is kind of... <laughs> let's, let's see, Kelly, if you can uh, do a professional job and get this on. Ugh, hang on, I'm really struggling getting this on here straight. What's going on? First day on the job? Maybe. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but that gave me a hard time. Okay, then we are going to grab, oh, where did that ribbon go? Hang on, it's here somewhere. What did I do with it? I thought I pulled it out. There it is, it's hiding under my paper. So we have this white frayed ribbon. That's what it's called, frayed ribbon. And I want to use this to wrap it around here and tie it in a knot. So I'm gonna take about this much, just like this, and then, this is really cool. You guys may have seen this already, but I absolutely love doing this. We're gonna cut off I think this is what you have to do. Yep, we're gonna cut off the edge. So if you have a bigger pair of scissors, this is the time to get them out because this is gonna be kind of painful, meaning that you're gonna sit here and watch me do this because I need to cut the edge off this whole thing with these little baby scissors. If I was at home, I'd grab my big ones and do this. But again, <laughs> We're compromising, right? I've really done well with some of the things that I don't have and figuring out ways to use something different. So that's, like I said, it's been a little challenging. One thing that I noticed today that I do that's kind of funny is my cardstock was in a filing cabinet right at my fingertips when I sit at my desk at home. And now every time I need a piece of cardstock, I have to get up and go over there because it's all piled underneath like the little breakfast bar thing on the floor. So I'm getting more exercise, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's get this cleaned up. Okay, now we are going to take this and we're gonna fray it. Watch this. I hope I don't have glue all over my fingers. Okay, so here's some strings. So this frays really, really nicely. And you just keep grabbing it. And keep grabbing it. Look at that, isn't that cool? So now we have all of these strings. I'm gonna pick this up. Put it all together like this. And I'm gonna take this and wrap it around here. I hope I made it long enough. And let's get that little short one out of there because that's gonna mess me up. 
I just thought this was so cool. I have another card where I frayed this that I'll share with you soon. Um, I frayed this ribbon and used it as an element on the card in a different way. And I just thought it was so pretty. Look at that, you guys. How fun is that? Again, this is the white frayed ribbon. That turned out really good. I was a little nervous about doing that on camera because, you know, things can go haywire. <laughs> okay. Now, let's finish our card. We are going to take our pineapple and our gray granite ink and we're going to stamp our pineapple. Let me stand up so I can make sure that I'm getting this centered on here. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. And we are going to then take this little piece and stamp. Oh yeah, this stamp says, just a card to say you're amazing. How fun is that? Oh, you guys love the frayed ribbon. Thank you, Judy, I do too. This is from the Special Moments stamp set. This is free with a $100 order by February 28th. And we're gonna stamp this right in the middle of this little layer. Okay, now this is something really cool. We're going to, whoops, get that out of here. Here, let's close this up. We're gonna take this and we're gonna cut this. What? Yeah, cutting it right in half, just like that. We can put this on the front now, so let's get this put together and then I'll show you what what I'm gonna do with that pineapple. I want this down just a little bit. Oh my gosh, I love this. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Put this on the front of our card. And then we're going to, I got some glue or something in there. What's happening? I don't know. We're gonna take this piece. If I would have left this like this and then put this over it, it like covers up my whole pineapple, right? So if you cut it, you can put this on the front of your card and this will cover up and it just makes the pineapple a little bit bigger. Isn't that fun? Yeah, I know. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right along this edge. Just like that. And then I like to kind of turn it over and see how straight I got it, okay? Cause that just, I don't know, it just helps me out. Then I'm gonna put a little bit right here. And then again, I'm gonna turn it over, see how this is crooked? I can make this straight now before it dries. What do you guys think? Is that not just a really nifty idea? Hang on. That looks good. That looks great. Dimensionals. Here we go. And because I just have some tape right here, I'm gonna do that. Just to secure it so it doesn't go any place. I don't want my card to fall apart because it's got just a little thin line, right? Thin line, thin line of glue. Do you guys have a take your pick tool? This is my favorite tool. My favorite tool. I use it for everything. Okay, get your little strings out of the way. We're gonna come right in here and we are going to add this right over that string. Oh my good grief. How cool is that? And then of course we need some of these of my favorite embellishments, the iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. 
So again, take your pick tool, my all time most useful best tool ever. Like I love this thing. Put maybe one right there. And then how about a little baby one? You get a gazillion of these on a sheet so you don't have to be, you know, frugal with them. You can just kinda go crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so inside, don't forget the inside. We're Googling over the outside. We gotta do something pretty to the inside. And I think I'll do that same thing where I put it on this side instead of that side again. I just really like that. I wish I could remember who made that card, but I do remember it was one of my team swaps and it was from our last meeting. We have a Zoom meeting every single month and we do demonstrations and you learn all kinds of fun things. We do mystery stamping, which is really fun. I give away lots of prizes. It's just a blast. And plus, when you join my team, you get a basic membership to the Stamp Happy Academy website for free. That's $19.95 a month once you've placed your first discount order. So, so many benefits. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so pretty. Ah! I do say so myself. Hang on, hot flash. I'm still sweating. I don't think I'm having a hot flash. I think it's just warm in here. Oops. Okay. Here is our adorable card using the Simply Marvelous and the Island Vibes. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Dang it. Mm, I wonder if I could tear this out. Nope, but you know what I can do? I've got that piece of paper here. I wanted to see up some of those Island Vibe leaves on the inside of this and I forgot. So just hang tight. I'm going to grab this just typing weight, printer weight paper, and I'm just going to kind of slide it in here. <laughs> this is how we improvise, right? I want to use this big stamp because it's so pretty. I want you to see these leaves. And I forgot all about it. So here we go. Ready? Mm, hang on, I got hair. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Look at how cool that is. Whoa, right? Isn't that neat? I love this stamp. Okay, so I have another one made with a different color because you guys know that I love to do that. <sighs> Aw, thank you, Beverly. She says she loves this card. She's seen a few wonderful cards made with this. Here it comes. Look at this. This is the, whoops. This is the petal pink version or Blushing Bride. It does look like Blushing Bride, doesn't it? Yeah, it's Blushing Bride. Here's the Blushing Bride version. Here's the gorgeous grape version. Oh, look at yeah, isn't that cool? Love it. So there's two fabulous cards. And remember, the big deal is to, to cut this label in half and spread it apart so you see more of our little pineapple. You can make it bigger. Yay. Tasteful label dies is the one that I used. And the gingham embossing folder. So hang tight because all of these need to go back in <laughs> my Stamp Happy Academy class so that I'm not a complete cluster. Nobody wants that. So I gotta get these back in there. Oh, that doesn't even fit. Okay, all of these things go back in that bin for a different card. I'm making another card with this tomorrow night. So I'll set this right down there. Oh, good grief. Okay. Whew. There's our next set of cards. All right, you guys. How are we doing for time? Oh my gosh, it's 9.18. Oh, but I've only been on since 8 o'clock Eastern time. So I'm only one hour, 18 minutes. You guys want to see one more card. I've actually got, I'll make one, but I have four done to show you using different patterns. 
What were the gems that I used on the pineapple? Those are the iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite. These are in the mini catalog. Iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. So pretty, right? Okay. I think you guys want to see another card, right? Oh, hot, hot. Yes, I see lots of yeses. Me, more please, Mary says, more please. Okay. You know what? That reminds me, Valerie, my grandbaby, she knows sign language, right? Because babies can, they can understand before they can talk. So Steve says one day, he goes, she keeps doing this to me. What does that mean? I said, that means more. She wants more. Isn't that funny? And then she calls a phone a tone. Tone, tone, tone. She always wants the tone. And then the other thing she says, instead of thank you, she says, Titu, Titu. So that's what Steve goes around saying all the time now. Titu, Titu. <laughs> it's so funny. Titu, Titu. Okay. Oh, let me get, hang on. I got to put my dimensions back on this card so I do not lose them. Yep, this was, a, this was another swap card that I made. Uh, this next card that I'm going to share with you is from Lisa Nealand. And I finally know how to say her name right. It's not Nyland, it's Nealand. We're going to be using the brass butterflies, brushed brass butterflies. These are like completely flat. These are a fabulous little embellishment. <laughs> Judy says Val is so stinking cute. I know, right? She is a hoot. And then we've got the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper. Oh, beautiful. Now, this again is free. This is 12 by 12. You get two sheets of each pattern. It's all double-sided, free with your $50 order. All right, you guys get sick of watching me do these envelope flaps. I often wonder if I should just do them up ahead of time, but then I think, God, oh, if I have somebody new on, they won't know how I did that, right? So I'm using this particular pattern of paper. This is the Daffodil Afternoon. Now we do have a whole stamp set with dies that have daffodils in it. And I need to post. Oh, okay, so she hasn't seen these butterflies. These, these are in the mini catalog. They're the brushed brass butterflies. They're fantastic. You get 80 of them on a pack. Yeah, they're wonderful and they're completely flat. So, um, oh yeah, I have to post a video. When I was out in um, Salt Lake City, Riverton actually, Utah, for my million dollar sales trip, I shot a video with the CEO of our company, Sarah Douglas. And oh, can I just say we had so much fun. I have that video and I keep forgetting to share it with you guys. Like, come on, Kelly. So, and I also need to share with you my million dollar trip video because I've got that too. And again, I just, maybe I'll get that done when, I'm on, when we're on our way back to Wisconsin. I have a lot of car time and I do sit and work while we're in the car and I'm not driving. This whole trip down here, I only drove like two hours. <laughs> it was fabulous. <laughs> okay, so here's what we got, you guys. This is the Daffodil Afternoon. This is five and a quarter by 12. And again, this card was sent to me by Lisa Neeland. And I just had to share it with you because it's really simple, but oh so spectacular. Let me get rid of that. Um five and a quarter by 12. We are going to take this and we are going to score it at four inches. Now, if you're using definite paper that has an upside down and a right side up, you need to be mindful of which way you're gonna go with this. This particular flowers, they're kind of upside down here, right? These are upside down, these daffodils are, these daisies or carnations or whatever they are. So we have to be kind of mindful and we'll figure that out in just a second. So we scored it four. We're gonna fold on that score line and burnish that edge. Then you could score again at eight, but what I find works better is if you just fold it 
That way you know you're gonna get it lined up perfectly. Sometimes our score lines don't always come out, at least that's my experience. So just fold it the rest of the way. Now, I want my flowers to be right set up. So this is gonna be my front. They're still right set up here and they're right set up here. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna cut it from here to here. So I'm gonna put that back in my paper trimmer. I'm gonna put my top corner up here and my score line is gonna go right in the channel here. So we're just gonna cut this piece right off. Boom, gone. That is as hard as this card is. It is so stinking simple, I couldn't believe it. So I made a gazillion of them to show you all the patterns of the paper. Okay, um, where did my, did you guys see my piercing mat? Do you see it any place? I need it. Hello, piercing mat. Here it is. Okay. I don't like to get glue or anything on here because, golly, I don't want to have a big mess here. Oh, put your glue on this piece, not that other piece, but very, very close to the edge. And we're gonna glue that just like that, okay? Then we've got all these other pieces. We are going to take, this piece by the way, is a three and three quarters by four and three quarters. And I'm going to take a little piece of the designer paper. This is, uh, I can't remember if it's half, three quarters, let me look. Three quarters, three quarters by three and three quarters. And I'm just gonna put a little glue on it here and we're gonna put that right over here. I like to leave a little bit of a white margin on the side. Get this lined up right. Okay. This is gonna tuck in. Oh, this is cut wrong. Hang on. I need to trim this. I did this on all the other ones too. I, it was too long. So let's see. Oh yeah, it needs to be four and three quarters. I told you the right measurement, I just don't have mine cut the right measurement. So four and three quarters by three and three quarters. This is gonna go right in here. Little note card. Then we're going to take, this is Flirty Flamingo. This is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And I am going to adhere this to four and a quarter by five and a half basic black. So we just got a tiny margin sticking out there. Okay. This is gonna go right on here. So we're gonna put glue on the back. Just like this. So we got just tiny, tiny little borders of color popping out here. Yep, that looks good. Now, I took the Hippo and Friends dies. Now, what I love about these dies, you've got a couple balloons, a little balloon string in here. You got some little flowery things, a butterfly. But you've got all of these labels. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 different labels in with this Hippo and Friends. And I use this quite frequently, actually. So I die cut a vellum cardstock out of the medium label in here and a white, and of course they're all stitched, a white out of the small. And I'm going to grab the stamp that says, I couldn't wait for a special occasion. So this is just an all occasion card. It's gonna make somebody feel super, super good. And I'm just gonna stamp that right in the middle here and pray that I get it straight. Well, I think I could have done better. Let's try that again. <laughs> I, I die cut too because, you know, yeah. Because I know me and I like to be prepared for that. Eh didn't turn out that great. There we go, that looks good. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to use, 
I've got a little seal plus here to stick this to the vellum. It just, I just like to use a tape runner. So I'm gonna put this right on here. And then we're gonna take some dimensionals. We're gonna add the dimensionals, but we're gonna be careful only to put them where that label is on the other side so we don't see the dimensionals through the vellum, right? Because we don't want that. Like, let's see, what color of ribbon? Okay, so I told you guys about this fabulous bag of ribbon. So when I was leaving home, I'm like, oh my good Lord, I can't take all my ribbon with me. Like that's insanity, right? So I just walked up to my ribbon rack and I pulled out a couple feet of each roll and threw it in a Ziploc bag. So I have a sampling of everything in here. Wasn't that a great idea? Yeah, so if you ever have to travel, like if you're going off to a um, retreat or something, you can do that with your ribbon too. Cause you know, I'm, I, I, like to, I like to have my things, but I don't wanna take everything with my kitchen sink. So that's a great way to be able to pack and I would do it again in a minute. I haven't run out of anything, but I've been using lots of little pieces of ribbon out of here. So I'm going to put this right down here. I'm going to use my bumblebee gingham and I'm just going to, whoops, tie this in a little bow. And of course, all of these ribbons can be found in our annual catalog. My mini catalog ribbons, I did bring them all with me. I've got those in with my, my stuff over there. So, but that wasn't so many of them, you know? It's a little bit more manageable. Oh, love it. Okay, mini glue dot. Here we go. I'm gonna put that right up here. And that kind of goes along, I don't know what the plaid on the inside, I don't know, but I just like this because it matches. And let me put that away. What embellishments should we put on here? I have my little bin. This is my bin I brought from home with all my goodies in it. Maybe some gold. Or maybe we should do some more of these. Hang on, they fell on the floor. But just some more of these. I think we'll do some more of those. All right. Oh, Helen says she loves the tag with the vellum. I do too. I just wanted a little something. And I'll show you the other cards that I made to you guys because they all turned out so good. And I'll show you the one that Lisa made for me because hers uses um, a cardstock color, which also looks fabulous behind there. I'm just gonna maybe put one more right up there. Okay, so very random. All right, look at this. Ah, you get to see both sides of the cardstock or the designer paper. Here's a little place for you to write a note. Here's my matching envelope. Isn't that gonna be pretty coming in the mail? Holy cow. All right, now, hang on. Let me bring out the rest of the cards that I made because I made a whole bunch of them. Are you, oh, let me show you. Okay, here comes. Oh, this is the one that Lisa made for me. And see how she used colored cardstock? She used some of our Evening Evergreen here. And this is that DSP print with all the daffodils on it. Look at how pretty that is. Yeah, love this. This is the one Lisa sent me. Here comes just a different pattern. I just wanted to kind of use, I think I used almost all the patterns in here, close to it, but isn't this pretty? Here's that butterfly K that you said you missed those. I know, Kimberly says, I like that you get to see both sides of the paper, exactly. Look at how cool that is, right? and a matching envelope. Then we have this particular pattern. And again, I just use a piece of ribbon behind here. I use the champagne rhinestones. Put 
Isn't this cool? You can make a nice little note set of cards to give as a gift. This is a great gift idea. And most of us, if you were, um, if you're with Stampin' Up, like if you're a discount shopper, or a demonstrator, we have tons of this paper, tons of it. So that's really fun to be able to not feel like you have to be, you know, frugal with it. But the thing is, is you can make two of these cards out of each sheet and you get two sheets of each one. So you can make four cards out of this pattern, four cards out of this pattern, four cards out of this pattern. So what we have here is four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24 cards made out of the Daffodil Afternoon DSP. One pack, 24 cards. Now that is a lot of cool cards, right? So I wanna thank Lisa for sending me this card because I've been holding on to it. It's been in my pile of, oh, must show everybody how to make this. And I absolutely love it. And of course, I'm glad I was able to share it with you guys because I think you should be making these. Now, for those of you that are hoarding your designer paper, give it up. <laughs> give it up, sister. Get it out and use it up. That way, you don't have to feel guilty when you wanna buy some more paper. Better yet, order some cardstock. Stock up on your supplies, get yourself some free designer paper. That's cool. Here are the pineapple island vibes, this is called, with the frayed ribbon, right? And the marvelous paper that's free, stamp set and paper, both free. And then, here comes the kite card. Super, super cute, right? These are so fun with the free Sunshine and Rainbows paper. And I hope you guys enjoy these projects. And I hope that I made it up to you for letting me go last week to the airport because I wanted to just make extra for you because you were all so very generous. And I... If you hadn't told me to go, I probably wouldn't have. So I just want to thank you for that. Melinda says she's a paper hoarder. I know, Melinda, it's a disease. We all have a little bit of it, but I'm trying to do better by using the designer paper, right? That's another thing that's really cool about Stamp Happy Academy is that we use a lot of designer paper in the designs for the live classes. And the thing that's really cool about it is, like for my class tomorrow night, I came up with three different layouts and then I used different stamp sets, different designer paper on this layout and I make three cards that are all different with that one layout. And then I have another layout, there's three layout and I make three cards with that and another layout and three different cards with that. So it's really fun to be able to use a lot of designer paper in those classes. Oh, thank you, Connie says we love you. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, Deborah wants to know, is the Island Vibe stamp set a freebie for celebration? Yes, it is. It is free with your $50 order. It is right here on page three. It's called Island Vibes. Absolutely free. The rainbow paper is free. The daffodil paper is free. The marvelous paper is free. Yeah, lots of free stuff. Lots of good things to check out. Please make sure you're clicking that share button if you came in late. I always appreciate you sharing my video. It's what helps me grow my business. And again, if you're watching later on Facebook, you can still share. Give me a thumbs up. If you're watching on YouTube later, please Click that thumbs up, click that little notification bell that'll tell you when I have a new video pop up on YouTube. I am hoping to have these available as a free downloadable project sheet on my blog. I still have to do all my photography tonight and get all that stuff typed up. So I don't know how late it'll be before I have my blog post ready, but just know that I'll get it ready as soon as I can. And, um, this is my current host code. I always appreciate your orders. It's what helps helps me be able to make 
these free videos for you. And I love spending my Sunday evenings with you. You guys are the best. Stampers are the nicest people, right? Okay. I have a blog hop on Friday. I think I forgot to mention that. It's with the Totally Techniques. We're going to be doing a really cool layout, so make sure you check back to my blog on Friday. Go there and subscribe right now. You'll get it in your email inbox when I add something new to it. I have Stamp Happy Academy tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Central Time is a live class. If you are not a member, it's a great time to join. Pop me an email and say, I just joined, and I will get in there and get you approved right away so you can join the live class tomorrow night. Dina is also live on Thursday at 6 p.m. I think 6 p.m. That's odd that we both are at 6 p.m. Let me take a look here so I'm not giving you bad information. I am at 6 p.m. Dina's at 3. Okay. Whew. That's like, oh, that doesn't make sense. Dina's at 3 on Thursday the 24th. I am at 6 p.m. and these are both central time. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna get everything photographed and typed up and added to my blog and get this video uploaded to YouTube. Um, one last thing, this, I used this on several of the cards tonight. This is the special moment set, also free, but with a $100 order, you get 21 different sentiments in here. You guys have yourselves a wonderful week. If I missed one of your questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can private message me. You can um, email me, kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. Always happy to answer your questions. If you're new and you'd like to get a catalog, I would love to send them to you. Please pop me an email, kelly, at astampabove.com, and um, send me your address, and I can get you catalogs out. I have one set of catalogs left while I'm here in Florida. I did bring some. Woohoo! Think it ahead, right? Um, thank you guys so much. I'm going to let you go now. Have a great week and happy President's Day tomorrow. Don't forget to guess Dawson's birth stuff, prizes. I want you to be in them. <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody.